Eight people are recovering this morning after the driver of a U-Haul truck barreled into a downtown sidewalk filled with people. It happened just before 2 o'clock this morning at the corner of 7th and Spring Streets. Take out 9's Lori Perez is live in downtown L.A. Lori, we understand three of the victims were critically hurt. And Amy, it's a wonder not more people were more seriously hurt after what's being described as just a terrifying accident set off. We are now learning by a driver who LAFD says was high on a mixture of cocaine and marijuana and going the wrong way. This sidewalk behind me is littered with debris, including things like this. We found this. This is a uh, the light, which we believe may have uh, belonged to the U-Haul that that driver was driving or one of the cars that he hit. But but take a look right beyond that sand. You can see two cones, one of them covering the place where a light used to be, another one covering where the hydrant used to be. You can see both the hydrant and the light now have been pushed to the side of the sidewalk. LAFD says the U-Haul truck in its out of control spiral also hit a parked car, also hit a motorcycle carrying at least one rider, also hit an Uber car with three women inside, and then also hit four people on the sidewalk. This was, as you might imagine, a Massive response, multiple ambulances, fire crews, and police here to find and treat victims. Crews took again eight people to local hospitals, three with critical injuries, five others with less serious conditions. In this video, you might see the victims and their friends, some still dressed in costume. This was an early morning accident. It happened at about 1.40 this morning, but it being Halloween, just after Halloween, we understand that this was filled with people still in costume, still wrapping up those Halloween festivities. The driver, we're told, is a 40-year-old L.A. man. LAFD says he actually did attempt to run, but with the help of witnesses, they were able to find him. And this morning, again, he is under arrest for Felony drunk driving. Amy, back to you. All right, thank you, Lori. We'll check in with you a little later this morning.